Good day, Grade 9 learners, and welcome to Tumamina Teaching. You are tuned into your fourth and final lesson for Grade 9 EMS Financial Literacy. Today, we'll be looking at the creditors and the general ledger, as well as the creditors' ledger. Let's see if you can still remember all of these. Grab a pen and paper, and let's get down to business. For this lesson, I will provide all the information needed for Ika Sukofu Company. You will post these journals in the relevant accounts in the general ledger. For this lesson, we'll be only looking at trading stock and creditors control. After the general ledger, you will also post the accounts for O'Connor's wholesalers and Dooley's traders in the creditors ledger. And then finally, you will prepare the creditors list for May. Now remember grade nines, you will be doing most of these exercises on your own. To download the tools, please head to the link below so you can print out your answer book. Now, if you are in class, please ask your teacher to assist you with the answering book. Okay, before we look at this exercise, let's see the information that has been given to us. Now, remember, we always start with the balances on the first of the month. Let's get these behind me. Let me quickly help you. Let's record the balances together. So let's start with the general ledger. The first account is the trading stock with a balance of 7,680 Rand. Okay, great job. The next one is creditors control. Let's look at the balance. Okay, so up next is the creditors control and its balance is 12,750 Rand. Okay, great job. Next up is the creditors ledger. Let's look first at O'Connor's wholesalers. O'Connor's wholesalers had a balance of 8,250 Rand. Next up is Ntuli's traders with a balance of 4,500 Rand. Okay, grade nines, now you're on your own. Have a look at the journals and post them on the general ledger as well as the creditors ledger. If you are in class and you're still struggling with the concepts, please ask your teacher for assistance. Otherwise, please revisit our lessons in term three. Now pause this video and let's get busy. All right, grade nines, this one was quite time consuming, but let's start marking. We will start with the general ledger and specifically the trading stock T account. Now remember, the balance is already recorded. So we must remember, Ikasuk Ofu company can buy trading stock either by cash or on credit. This must be recorded on the trading stock T account. Okay, so let's start with cash. If we buy trading stock with cash, it will be recorded in the CPJ, the Cash Payments Journal. So that is where we will find the amount that should be recorded in the T account of trading stock. We should also record trading stock bought on credit. This will be found on the creditors journal, the CJ. And as always, to remember to record the balance at the end. Now that the T account of the trading stock has been completed, we will now be looking at creditors control. Now as always, the balance has already been recorded. Now remember, creditors control is a liability. Therefore, each time Ika Sukofu company buys on credit, the liability increases. This will be recorded on the credit side. Remember DALIC acronym? And we will find this amount in the CJ, the creditors journal. Now, at some point, we should pay our accounts. This will be recorded on the debit side of the creditor's control. The creditor's control will decrease as Ikasuk Ofu Company is paying their debt. Now, remember to balance the creditor's control at the end so we can see how much we still owe.
Okay, great job. We finished now with the general ledger. Let's now look at the creditors ledger. Our first creditor is O'Connor's wholesalers. Now remember, the balance was already recorded earlier in this lesson. Let's have a look at the journals and specifically the transactions that have to do with O'Connor's wholesalers. As we can see in the tables, there are four transactions that have to do with O'Connor's wholesalers. Okay, now let's see if you recorded this correctly on the creditor's ledger. All right, did you get this right? If you did, well done. Now, if you're still struggling, please revisit Term 3, Lesson 4, as in this lesson, we're looking at the holistic view of the previous lessons. All right, now let's have a look at the next creditor. That is Ndoli's Traders. Now, we've already recorded the balance. Now, let's look at the journals and specifically the transactions that have to do with Ndoli's Traders. As you can see in the tables, there were three transactions that were dealt with in Dooley's traders. Let's deal with these in chronological order. Okay, grade nines, let's see if you got this one correct. Okay, grade nines, well done. Next, we will be looking at the creditors list, which is a summary of the money that Ikasi Kofu company owes its creditors, which will be recorded on the creditors list. We will use the last balance of each creditor as this is the final balance IKC owes. Nines, IKC owes a total of 14,090 Rand to its creditors. This is the final amount that is viewed on the table. Well done, Grade Nines. This is the end of the lesson and the end of our journey. You have successfully covered all the Grade 9 EMS financial literacy lessons for this year, and I really hope that you enjoyed each and every one of them. Till next time, thank you so much for joining me on Tumamina Teaching.